Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at two unique addressable LED strips. The first is going to be a RGBW LED strip, SK6812, but then 12 volt. And the second one is going to be, uh, well, a normal 5 volt LED strip, but it's in a certain silicone sleeve, which gives it a very unique effect. Let's get right to that. Okay, so what we have here is 12 volt SK6812. Uh, let me show you my disc. And I didn't know this actually existed, but uh, well, since it's a 12 volt strip, this has the downside of being only addressable per three LEDs instead of per single LED, but it has the upside of using 12 volt. So you have to use less power injection wiring and stuff like that and it's RGBW. Now, to my knowledge, there isn't much RGBW or addressable RGBW out there at 12 volts. You have the normal five volt variants, but yeah. So what they did, or what I can see here, and I'll show you a close up, the controller chip for the LED is seemingly in this middle LED here, or in this right side LED. And then the two left of that are just normal dumb LEDs. And well, that's, probably how they can do 12 volt instead of the 5 volt, but I'm not sure if this is just a regular one and the voltage regulator in SK6812 could do that always, or if this is using a special one. I'll overlay you some uh, nice effects I've been doing with a Quinn LED Dig Uno and W LED, and while doing that we can also talk about power usage. If you haven't seen so before, uh, I keep track of all kinds of power usage. That's basically why I buy this stuff. And then I, uh, I, I, I check on how it does. And if we look in my chart, we see that for the 12 volt strip, the SK6812 RGBW 12 volt actually does really well. For the idle current, WS2811 still wins. That's also per three address. But in all or most other tests, you see that um, it uses about 23 watts per single color, 46 watts for all colors together, uh, so RGB white, but it has, it has a dedicated white LED. It uses about 35 watt for that, and if we combine everything at the same time, it uses 68 watt. But then it does really produce a good amount of light. And, well, this really makes it usable as a generic light strip because it has RGB W and a normal light strip, and you don't have to worry about the wiring as much with five volt, as I said. Now, in regards to white light, and there will be more content on this in the future, these are just your average, normal, cheap ass uh, LED chips, especially the ones they added, but color is uniform overall. Um, but they're just cheap strip uh, or cheap packages with LEDs. Uh, yes, they're officially CRI 80, but if you look at the spectrum and if you look at the, the bar graph and then the TCLI instead of the CRI, you see that it really isn't that great. Even though it's warm white, it hits 3000 Kelvin just fine. The quality of the, war of the warm white light is, well, it's just not very good. It's a lot better than RGB combined, but as your main source of primary lighting, I wouldn't use this. If it's accent lighting or extra lighting, yes, the, the W, or the, this is warm white, you can have it in warm white, neutral white, and cold white, is decent enough uh, to have as an added source of light. And while well, you can mix the warm white channel with the RGB channels, and all of them can do effects, so you can make some really nice combos with this. And as said, looking at the chart, it's actually the most efficient 12 volt LED strip I've seen for most effects. And it has, well, warm white. So uh, I think it's a winner. Uh, if you're looking to do 12 volt LED strip, which is then per three addressable, but if you're doing longer runs, like if you're doing 10, 15 or 20 meter LED strips, so we're talking like uh, 32 feet or more, most often the downside of not having a per LED addressable, but having it per three LED addressable, well, 
if it's 10 meter or 32 feet in the distance, are you really going to notice that it's three LEDs lining up instead of one? I don't think so. And then having a 12 volt is much more of a benefit than having the downside of per three addressable. Uh, but we'll talk more about that in future videos. But if you're doing long stretches of LEDs, maybe take the downside of three LEDs and go for the 12 volt variant. And now we have a, uh, well, I wrote it on here, <laughs> a 12 volt RGBW. And uh, uh, colors look vibrant and uh, yeah, it's a good strip. I like it. So as always, I'll have links in the description and I'll also have it listed on my quinled.info website. I'll also have some links to the Quinn LED Dig Uno controller, most of you know by now, uh, that I used, and to the power chart. But let's move on to the second LED strip. Although the listing says that that is uh, also SK6812, maybe, but it's certainly not RGBW, because if you hook up an RGBW strip to a W LED, which is still configured for RGB, this is basically what you see. All colors are messed up and basically everything skips a channel because RGBW is four channels and RGB is three channels. Anyway, uh, let me get this out here. There we go. So this is LED strip that is uh, comes ready made and encased in this yeah rubbery silicone. I'm not sure what to call it. And that makes it uh, gives it a very nice smoothing effect. I'll, I'll show you uh, better footage on the screen that I captured. Um, and looking at the strip itself, it's made up of uh, a top side through which the, it illuminates outwards, but it also has an inner side to which it also illuminates. It's a little bit less than on the top side. So I'm not sure if they're using side mounted LED strip or whatever. It is 96 LEDs a meter, and uh, you buy it in two meter stretches. This is the 0603 variant, I believe, on the AliExpress seller listing. And um, uh, in WLED, I counted 192 LEDs for this two meter strip. And the nice thing about it, they call it neon strip also, is that you can really, well, you can really make a tight bend of it, and it doesn't break or, you know, uh, go kaput. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so if you're looking for something that's really diffused, like a line next to your closet or a line in the horizon horizontal or something like that, and you don't want to bother with an aluminium channel and stuff like that, this can be a very, very interesting choice. I don't have enough wire. No, I do. Um, instead of regular LED strip that you then have to use the aluminum channel and stuff like that yourself. And as you can see from the effects on the screen, it's really, really smooth, partly because it has 96 LEDs per meter and partly because it's really well diffused. Now this is less suited to light up your room, but as I said, if you want to trace contours or want to make a special shape with it or do something like that, it's it's really special and it looks really, really smooth, also in person. If I really go looking for it, I could make out a single LED, but in normal usage, I don't think you'll see them. So, really cool effect. I haven't measured these power-wise because I have a set standard of measuring 300 LEDs and stuff like that. Um, what I did notice is that if you only hook up one side, it's okay for effects, but if you try to do white, well, you'll see some serious voltage drop, and that's also very visible where the, the, the bright white turns into piss yellow white, basically. And if you then connect both sides, most of that is resolved. You can still see a slight little bit of fluctuation, but it's pretty good. That, that's usable, I'd say, especially if you're doing effects instead of uh, running full white on them. On maximum usage, they used about 40 watt, and I'm just really in love with these th this thing because it's just really unique how you can uh, bend it and stuff like that. Now, from the seller I bought it from, this comes encased. So the LED strip is already encased in this, well, silicone stuff. 
Um, you can also buy from BDF Lighting. You can buy the channel that this basically is uh, separately that um, doesn't come with LED strip. And you can, well, you can basically make it yourself. But there's lots of different variants, variants with that where it, like uh, either it shines out upward or it shines sideward. And well, you can you can get all kinds of different variants. But the combination here where they used 35, 35 size LEDs, 96 a meter, and then in this sleeving, it's quite nice. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. As I said, the links will be in the description if you want to pick them up. Check out quinled.info for lots more information. If you're looking for LED controllers, there's the Quinn LED Dig Uno, or now the new Ta -ta -ta, I have one here. Quinn LED Dig Quad. So make sure to check that out too. All links will be in the description. And other than that, thank you for watching and catch you guys next time. Bye bye.